Hi, this is Jay Giroux coming at you one more again, and this is another Anderson 1939 production. Now, our last review, we were talking about love and war, and we started talking about the G.I. Joe from Rise of Cobra. Well, we're continuing that today, and we've got the Baroness and Destro coming at you. So grab your drinks and popcorn, sit back and relax, and get ready for another one coming at you. And we're back. As you can see here, we've got the Baroness and Destro posed out. And as you look at the detail of the figures, the detail of their uniforms and outfits, it's pretty nice. Um, as you look at them, we have them posed out here with their primary weapons. Um, Destro holding his big guns and the Baroness as well. Pluses. Um, they have the articulation and posability of the typical G.I. Joe characters. You know, the turning wrists and the feet are able to adjust in the knee joints and hip joints and waists and the heads. However, the drawback to me with the Destro figure in particular is the sculpting of the hands. Though his hands are sculpted to hold a gun and the finger is pointed like he's pulling a trigger, in putting these particular weapons in his hand and actually trying to come up with a decent pose is a little bit difficult. Believe it or not, this is probably one of the better poses I was able to come up with for this particular display. Um, which leads me back to the original G.I. Joe figures, where Destro was one of my favorite G.I. Joe characters. I like the uh, black outfit and the shiny head, the whole thing. The original Destro was cool. This one, though they did a decent job, for the purpose of updating it for the movie, I'm not 100% impressed with this Destro. On a scale of 1 to 10, I would probably give this Destro a 5 strong 6 maybe. Um, as a collector enthusiast, and if you're a G.I. Joe collector and enthusiast, you should definitely pick him up and add him to your collection. But, again, mildly recommended. But moving on to the Baroness, I actually like the Baroness. I like the Baroness's black outfit. I love how they did the long coat um, and her weapons. Again, they did a really, really good job with this character and figure. However, a drawback with the long trench coat obviously limits the posability with her legs. But, as you can see for the purpose of the display, um, the, the coat doesn't get in the way. So, on a scale of 1 to 10 with the Baroness, I would give the Baroness a 7. 7.5. Again, as a collector and an enthusiast, you should definitely consider picking these up, but at the same time, if you decide to bypass them, you won't be missing anything. This is Jay Giroux, and coming up next, we're going to have another review as Big B is going to come back and he's going to continue our love and war, but if, you, if you've only caught this second installment, check out the first installment. Big B also did a review on Shipwreck and uh, Cover Girl. Also, he did one on Scott Summers and Gene Gray. So check them out when you get a chance. Again, this is Jay Giroux, and this has been an Anderson 1939 production. Peace out, people. See you on the flip. There's trouble. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. G.I. Joe is there. It's G.I. Joe against Cobra and Destro.